Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the Polygon Forest. We're doing another reaction video today and today we're going with Battlefield. Uh, we haven't seen this yet. We're, we're a bit late to the party. I think we're, it aired about an hour ago. So we've been holding off so we can uh, get some reactions in and uh, we can do it live together. So uh, without further ado, are you ready, Chris? I'm ready. All right, let's jump in. So three, two, one. Okay, I have clicked. So have I. What have we got? Game engine footage. Okay. Wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, dice are always, oh. always good. Looks really pretty. That looks really good. Parachute, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Watch where you got, dude. This reminds me of one of the missions where you jump off a cliff. Yeah. On the old battlefields. And parachute down. So maybe they've lent into it. Robot, mm. machine gun. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. I mean, the fact that this is all in game is kind of amazing. Yeah. That's kind of incredible. It looks like they're going with the uh, Levolution stuff. Like in the uh, those previous Battlefields where the levels change throughout each match, like yes. really significantly. So they're sort of bringing that back. I, I heard rumor that they were going to be really leaning into that. So it's cool to see that again. Interesting to see if the guy jumps over there. Yeah, so it looks like there's um, some elevation involved as well. People on top of crates. Yeah, which is I mean, that's always good. Oh, the guy's out of Grabbed his dog tags. Yeah. Very multiplayer-ish. Yeah. The oh, diverse oh. levels are really cool. This is interesting. Snowy level. Yeah. Snow they're tank. Definitely, they're definitely leaning into the uh, the fun side of it rather than the, like super yeah. serious military shoot, so that's cool. Yeah, it doesn't look serious at all, does it? No, this looks absolutely wacky and wild. Which is which is fine, because Battlefield yeah. is meant to be fun. There seems to be... Those flanges don't look like they do anything except look no. cool. Right. Those bits of metal just like, yeah, they look Concept cool. Concept eyes have way too much fun on that one. Yeah. Chops yeah, I mean, lo city. lots, yeah, lots of range. This is awesome. It's like, uh, really spread out across the world. Definitely. Uh, that's going to be me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, damn it. Yeah, it feels like I've seen like all of this before. It's like in... a Die Hard film, like if it was a Battlefield video game. No, I mean, I've seen like, I've watched like a load of videos from like Battlefield players and they've done all of this, you know? Yes. Like this, like the, the. yeah, yeah I've totally seen that. Somewhere. So this looks like a cinematic of the stuff that they know that people that play right, Battlefield what players do, do and want to do. Yeah. But yeah, like this is probably gonna like some stupid like he's gonna jump out of the plane and fire a rocket and, at him or something. Yeah, right? do a 360 no scope yeah, and yeah. then yeah. <laughs> I, probably not, but it's And then get back into his plane again. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, he is going no he, yeah, you're right. He's Are going you to serious? Shoot. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that is okay. really silly. Right, yeah. No, oh, that's that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so I silly. I totally called it. I totally called it. Gold. Yeah, like this is just a montage of like all the stuff that you normally see in game. Like yeah. from players. Which is seeing awesome. a it's just like a cinematic version of what people are already doing. Which is a right. shame because what I want to see is I want to be presented with what they come up with, not what the fans come up with, if you know what I mean. Well, I don't know. I mean it's the, the robot fans, dog the robot the robot dog with a machine gun on its head's enough for me. Oh tornadoes, okay, so yeah, we're gonna have destructible okay. environments and yeah. It's going to change not, throughout the level. Not too serious, I guess. Quick getting the tuk tuk. That'll, that'll God, help. That's hilarious. I mean, this is almost comical. It is. Yeah. And then physics doesn't mean anything. So, like, the tuk tuk's not going up in the air, but <laughs> a person that's further along than the tuk tuk is. I love how they're all sat there with the weapons. Like, is this going to, like, get picked up? And then just, like. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Yep. Now we're seeing something new. 
Ugh, that's look, absolutely that's not how suction works, is it? If you get in a wingsuit, suction is the opposite. That's not how that's not how that works. So you can wingsuit out of a tornado, but if you're in a helicopter, wild with thrust, you can't. So the, they have got a full gameplay reveal uh, on June thirteenth. So that's uh, this Sunday, I think it is. Which is interesting, actually, because I know EA hasn't got their conference until like it's it's a while away. I don't think they're doing that as, uh, during E three, obviously. So Battlefield are doing a separate event, almost strange. Um, I guess when's... I guess they've I guess they've got their uh, reveal. I guess the Battlefield reveal is going to be at the Xbox conference. That would be yes. my bet. Which so, makes a lot of sense. Actually. It's saying here yep. that the release is October, uh, mm-hmm. so it's going to be an October release. That fits so, in quite nice. Yeah, that is going to be at least good. That means we get some time before Christmas to play some some Battlefield, some new stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, what were your initial? thoughts there been yeah i mean like I, I i'm i'm sort of torn in a way because like one the game looks absolutely phenomenal like the way that it looks presentation wise looks great mm. C- can't follow it dice have always done a good job of that i mean every single game that they put out is just always um top of the industry when it comes to multiplayer games and how, how far they can push it? graphics yeah mm. it looks amazing to be fair um like one part of me, like when it comes to military shooters, like I like super serious stuff almost, like to the point that it's it feels like a Michael Bay movie, you know, like everything is everything like pretty explosions and all that sort of stuff. But it's, it's serious context because at the end of the day, like you're, you're going into war zones and killing people, like it should be it's sort pretty of heavy, semi- yeah. There's right, gonna be the emotional heavy. impact of, of war, yeah. yeah. And then no the other like half were... of me, yeah, yeah, the other half of me is kind of like you know, but it is a multiplayer game and I have a lot of fun with them and like uh, dice's sandboxes when it comes to battlefield games are just um part and on pretty much like they, they always do the best job when it comes to like their destructible environments and, and how yeah. it actually feels being a war zone because it's so cinematic when you you're you're in the middle of that and that stuff happens all the time like a plane will fly over just miss your helicopter yeah. or crash next you'll be an explosion and you're like jesus christ and you're just trying to get through and it is fun and it looks amazing and like all this wacky stuff does happen. So they did get that element of it. So it's just kind of like the tone of it is kind of like it's an interesting direction that they went in. I'm curious to mm. see like on Sunday if they do something a bit more serious to sort of balance it out. But yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, kind, of, kind of wacky, I guess. But, it is weird, isn't it? Like, apart from the, the it seemed like the guns were only used when they were in the, the container section. Like everything yeah. else, it was like, Let's all use vehicles to kill people <laughs> and right. things like that. So it seems like if the trailer is a representation of what the game is going to be like, they don't right. really care about using weapons to kill people. It's more about the experience of the. Yeah, I mean, I did, I did really like, I, I did really like the fact that they um, chose moments that players have clearly come up with themselves because players are pretty creative about like how they. Um, kill people in them games i guess like the, yeah. the whole like joked about it at the beginning where we we're like oh my god like oh, it'll be funny but, like if you jumped out and did the rocket trick that's exactly what they did <laughs> so it's it. yeah i mean the, the the thing is like everything that they showed in the game in the in the trailer it was kind of like yeah you can do this in game because we've seen it before you know like this yeah. this stuff is wild and gamers have come up with this sort of stuff so it, it's nice like that they did that homage to the players i guess because they're yeah. the ones that you know they're the ones that are supporting the company and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, very yeah. cool. How uh, how about you? Like your your general sort of impression of it and how you're feeling about it. Are you excited about Battlefield or is it a bit too was it a bit too wacky for you? That's it was question. it was wackier than I was expecting. I was a bit mm. shocked. Um, I was looking for what uh, in a trailer. I want to know what the in a trailer for me. It's all about the feeling. So like, is the feeling right. of the trailer matching what the game's going to be? And when they don't match up, I don't like it because it's a bit like, well, you've you've only done that for hype, or it's it's yeah. not a reason. It's not you're not tried to sell the game. You just tried to say, hey, look, we've got a game coming out, but it's got nothing to do with the game. So we'll just, I'll have to wait and see until the game comes out, and then I'll understand. But hmm. I I like the fact that there's yeah destructible elements. I like the fact there's the robot dog with the machine gun on its head that looked pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just want to wait and see how that plays in game. Because if that's like the worst part of the game, like, oh, I've got this stupid robot dog perk, I don't want to use it, or you just get rid of it and it doesn't work, then it defeats the purpose. Um, yeah, the no, the bazooka on the jet was, um, <laughs> it was so silly. 
Um, yeah, no, but it's been done. Like, it, like gamers have done yeah. that in game, and I've and seen so videos of people doing it. So new it's stuff, possible, I guess. New stuff wasn't much new stuff in the trailer, but yeah, it looked great. Tornado that was ripping through a ripping through a city. Has there been tornadoes before in game? Uh, no, I, I think uh, it kind of reminds me of Just Cause because that was, was it. Think, Just Cause. the most recent Just Cause game. I think that had tornadoes in it. And yeah. But like considering this is in a multiplayer game with like a hundred players plus, mm. like that's sort of wild, you know, like getting that in game and actually working and looking that good. Yeah. Like it looks like a cutscene. It was really well done. I I'll be curious to see how much like that actually affects game and it's very it far does. removed from Battlefield, mm. uh, the last Battlefield game. Yeah. Was that World War One, the last one? Yeah, uh, the last one was World War Two. Oh, the one II. before that was, was World War One. So Battlefield yeah. Five was World War Two, and that so, that actually brings up a good point. Like my sort of the last bit of my take, I guess, is that I, I'm guessing the reason why they went silly with this one, well, not silly, like silly is a harsh word, but like sort of more fun, I guess, like that's a better way of saying it, is because we kind of have heard rumors and we sort of know that the next Call of Duty is going to be a World War Two game. So that's probably going to be super gritty and serious. So they're taking it in turns. To, so they're sort yeah. of, I, I think it's kind of, because if they went too serious and, and Call of Duty was coming out at the same time and they were sort of competing with that and they had two serious military shooters and one mm. was set in World War II and one was set in the future sort of thing, it would have been would have been a lot more competition there. But the fact that they've gone this silly route, it might actually be a really good tactic mm. for the company to do that. So that would be my guess. It would be interesting to see if this E3 were void of any World War One or World War Two games oh, well i think call of, call of duty the next call of duty which is due to get announced within the next couple of weeks i assume ah. um, that's that's going to be world war Two. so that's okay. that's why they're trying to avoid each other but yeah no i i i mean i i'm in battlefield is like i play battlefield whenever it comes out yeah i always have a ton of fun with it i think it's the the superior military shooter when it comes to multiplayer stuff i think call of duty have better campaigns ironically and hmm. so yeah i'm 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 all in on this. I'm I'm super excited. How about you? Are you yeah? Are you I'm interested? In this? I'm interested, but I'm got. I've just got trailer wariness. Right. I've just no. That's got that's that's a healthy thing. Yeah, that's so a healthy thing. I'm. I was. Ent- it was a very entertaining trailer, yeah, but so I haven't it. got that adrenaline hype going. Oh my god! I can't wait to play this, which I'm sure a lot of people have, and well, rightly mm. so. Yeah. <clears throat> it just looked too good to be true. So they were saying it was done in engine, but. It looked like a film, so dice yeah. are good though. They're really good. I mean, what they did with uh, yeah. with Last Battlefield and Battlefront, like what they've done with the Star Wars games, like they they look phenomenal. Like when that when that they running do. game and that was last gen. So yeah. we shall wait and see. We shall wait we shall and see. see. We shall see. But yes, all right. Cool. Yeah. So that uh, wraps it up. If you did enjoy this reaction video, then please uh, give us a like and subscribe. Uh, We've got a lot more coming uh, within the next couple of weeks, obviously, T3. Um, We also do a podcast, which normally airs every Monday. Um, Obviously, next Monday, which is the the Monday during E3, I think we're going to be skipping an episode for obvious reasons. Yeah. A lot of people won't be... We've got a lot of other stuff coming anyway, so yeah. that's all good. But if you are interested in that, then please um, subscribe to us on YouTube. We're also on Anchor, so we're also like on any podcast service pretty much. So if you're yes. interested in listening to some gaming news and some gaming opinions, then please give us a follow and a like. Uh, and where can people find you, Chris? Uh, at Acrylic Pixel on Twitter and Acrylic Pixel on YouTube. And what about you, Vin? Cool. Yeah, people can find me. I am on uh, Twitter at Hillfort Games. Uh, I'm also on ArtStation if you're interested in any concept art. And yeah, you can find me there at Vin Hill Art. I think it is. Yeah, it is Vin Hill Art. So yep, if you did like this, then please give us a like and we shall see you in the next reaction video, which is coming very soon. So until then, bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.